Hi, I'm Glenda, the Youth Services Librarian at the Salem Panola Library, and today we are making this cute little unicorn. So, to make the unicorn, we need a paper plate, we need colored paper. So, I have four colors for the unicorn's mane. I have this red here for the ears and the cheeks. And I have this white here for the ears and the unicorn's horn. The paper plate is for the unicorn's body. Um, the googly eyes are for the eyes. I use the Sharpie for the mouth. And I have glitter, cause I love glitter. And I need a stapler. You don't have to have a big old stapler like this. A little one works just fine as well. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we're gonna get started. So remember, we need the paper plate, glue stick, scissors, stapler, Sharpie, colored paper, white paper. I have glitter because I love glitter. And I have googly eyes. Okie dokie. So, we're going to start off by cutting this plate in half. So technically, or actually, you could make two unicorns out of one plate. So if you have a little sister or a little brother or a big sister or a big brother, you and your big sister or big brother can make plates. Then you're going to take this plate here and you're going to fold it in about thirds. So you're going to fold it like that. Like that. So you take the half plate and then come in and then you're going to come in also on the other side and the plate is kind of rigid so you want to kind of work with it a bit so you're going to kind of mash it down you may have to adjust it a bit to make it work for you but and then you see how i got this part here and because you're basically turning it into a triangle And so you want the two back portions to kind of overlap, okay? So you want them to overlap a bit. And once you're done, um, it kind of, you know, stands on its own. But we want it to overlap so that we can take a staple and staple it. All right. So now we got our base for our unicorn. So now our next thing to do is to set our unicorn base to the side. So we're just gonna set it to the side and then we're going to get our colored paper. All right. And we're gonna take our colored paper and cut out strips. Now these strips don't have to be perfect because if they aren't perfect, no one is going to notice. If you can get them perfect, wonderful. But if not, that's okay as well. All right. Now, we cut our strips out. And we got four different colors. I have orange, blue, yellow, and a purplish lavender color. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those four strips. And we're going to cut off about... I'm going to say about two inches and we're going to take those two inches and set them to the side. Okay. So we're just going to take these four little pieces here and just set them to the side. So we're going to set them off to the side and now we have, um, our remaining four pieces. Now what I did was I cut this in half. So you could cut it in half and then your brother or sister could have four pieces and you'd have four pieces. So um, we're going to take our glue 
Well, first we're gonna fold in half, but you wanna leave it kind of bubbly. See that bubble? And you're gonna put glue right there on the ends. So let's put glue on the end. And because I don't want to get glue on my table here, I'm just gonna use an old um, envelope to protect the table. And so you're just gonna take it, put a little glue on that end and make a little bubble. And then kind of just press it down a bit. And then once you make that, just set it to the side. And then you're gonna do it with the other remaining colors and just do the same thing. Press it and set it to the side once you have it together, okay? I guess I put a little too much glue on that one. <laughs> and we're just continuing with the same deal. Press it and put it to the side. And press it and put it to the side. All right, now we have our hair, we have our body and our hair for the mane. And we have our four pieces that we set to the side. And those four pieces are actually for the bangs. So we have that part made. So we're gonna set those to the side as well. Now, what we need to do is make our ears. So to make our ears, we're just gonna cut about, I'm gonna say about three inches. And then you take that piece, that little piece, this is about three, maybe three and a half inches of, of um, white paper and you're going to fold it to the in half and three inches actually may be too much and then we're going to cut the ears yeah i think three inches is too much so if you have your brother or sister you probably could make uh, two sets of ears and then you're just going to cut it like a triangle because we want to cut it kind of like a cat's ear so basically, that's it. It's just a little triangle. See the little triangle? All right, so we have our triangle. And we're going to put them right here for a second. And now, we need a bit of red for the inside part of the ear. See that part there? This part here? That is the por that's the red portion. And so we're gonna cut another probably two inches, two and a half inches. And we're gonna take this little piece here and just fold it in half. And we're gonna cut triangles again. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry if it's not. It's still gonna serve its purpose. It may be a little too big, so you might have to cut it down a bit. I think mine are a little too big, so I'm gonna cut mine down a little bit. And so that will give you two little triangles. So what you're gonna do with those two little triangles is you're gonna take one of your white triangles and you're gonna glue it in there, just like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay it flat and put some glue on there and take that triangle and sit it down in there, just like that. And you should have it hanging over. You see how that's hanging over? So what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna cut that little piece off. And now you have one of your ears. And let's do that one more time with the other. So you're gonna take your glue, put it 
on the white part of the ear and then you're going to come down with your red triangle and again you see it's hanging off and you're just going to cut that little piece off and you have your second ear all right so we have both ears done we have googly eyes for our eyes we have our mane done we don't have our rosy cheeks so we're gonna make our rosy cheeks so to make our rosy cheeks we just need a little sliver of paper so you cut out maybe an inch and a half a little sliver and you're going to take that little piece that little slither of about an inch and a half and fold it over and you're just going to cut out a circle it doesn't have to be a perfect circle mines are never perfect it just needs to be circular in shape because who has a perfect round smile no one does and so that leaves you with two little red circles okay so you have your two little red circles you have your two googly eyes you have your two ears you have your hair for your mane the only thing we're missing is our unicorn's horn Ooh. okay so in order to make our unicorn's horn we're going to take a piece of the white paper and we're going to cut about two and a half make two and a half inches should be enough And it's about that big. That's not that big. Because look at it next to my finger. It's not that big. So what you're going to do is basically you want to start it out where it looks like you're cutting out a leaf. You know how like in the uh, spring and the fall we make leaves out of paper. Okay. So basically if this was green it would look like a little leaf for a paper flower we were making. So now we're going to cut little pieces off to the side because a unicorn's horn kind of has a curve to it. So what we're going to do is just cut little slivers out to the side. Okay, you see how I'm cutting little slivers off to the side. Like little triangles, basically. You see how that is? It looks like little triangles. And then we're going to do on the other side, I guess I'll do little smaller ones. And you see how I'm going all right and it's just cutting out little triangles okay now to make this look more like a unicorn's horn we're gonna have to curve off these edges because they look there's the edges are really sharp right now so what we're gonna do is just round them off just round them off and you see how like that side is the side that I've rounded off and these are the the sharper edges so we want to round them off so they get a more unicorn look to them okay so we just want to round it off a bit Just round it off a bit so that it looks more like a unicorn's horn. Ugh, I think I jacked that up. All right. So what do you think? Oh, I didn't do that one. All right. So that looks more like a unicorn's horn. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue. And remember, I have my glitter. So I'm going to cover one side in glue and I'm using stick glue so I can make as less mess as possible. And then I'm going to open up this glitter container and I'm going to stick it in there and I'm going to close the glitter container and just shake that around. Okay. And now it should be covered in glitter. 
And I'm gonna shake it off a bit. Shake it, shake it off, shake it off. Ooh. Okay, so I didn't put enough glitter glue on there. But in order to hide what I didn't do, I'm just going to round that off. Just round it off so nobody knows. Only you and me. And there is my unicorn horn. All right, and I'm going to put my top back on my glitter as to minimize the amount of mess that I make with the glitter. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna start assembling our unicorn. So now we're gonna start off by putting the hair on or his or her mane. And you can put it in any order that you like, whatever you like is what you want to do because you're making it for you or you may be making it for your mom or your dad but you're going to start off by putting the the little bubble hair pieces that we made off to the side okay all right and we're putting them up off to the side we're just going to put glue on them and, and put them up there And remember, any order that you like. All right. So. Now. All right, I'm going to need to slide it down just a little bit. I'm going to slide them down just a little bit. All right, so we have our, oh, I got so much glue on my hands. So we have our, we have our hair or our mane on, okay, there we go. So you see it's on. Now, our next step is to take those four little pieces. Remember those four little pieces that we kept off to the side when we started so those four little pieces we are now going to do we could either lay them flat or we could curl them I want to curl them so how I'm going to curl them is I'm going to take the scissors and do them like this or you could just take it and kind of ball it up a little bit to give it a little curl okay and then we're going to take our glue and glue our hair on. All right, so we're gluing on our hair. And you put your hair in any order that you like. Okay. So we're gluing the hair down. Gluing it down, and there we go. So we've glued our hair down. All right, and you put it in the order that you like. Next, we're gonna glue on our eyes. So we glue down the eyes, and you're just gonna put your Oh, I think I put mine over too far. You put, you're gonna glue, just use your stick glue and glue on your eyes. Now, if you didn't want to do googly eyes, you could just draw on eyes. And I'm gonna show you how to do that while that kind of dries a little bit. Okay, so my googly eyes are on. Now, oh goodness. Say, for instance, you didn't want to, or you didn't have any googly eyes at home. If you don't have any googly eyes at home, that's fine. We can, there's always alternatives to 
googly eyes. Okay? So, remember when we started out, and I'm just showing, doing this one real quick. And we folded it. And we stapled it. So if you don't have googly eyes, you could take your marker and just make the closed unicorn eye. With the lashes. So you could just do that if you didn't have any googly eyes. Okay? Our next step is to glue on our ears. So now we're just going to take some glue and at the top and the back, just put the glue at the top and the back. Make sure you get enough on there. And you're going to put your ears on either side of that triangle that's made at the top. And it's okay if it's not perfect, it's fine. Then we're gonna glue on our rosy cheeks. So take your little red circle or pink circle or whatever color circle you have to make your cheeks and just glue that down, okay? And put your glue on and glue it down. And now you have on your cheeks. Now, our next step is to make our little mouth. And I'm just gonna take it, take my little mouth and go up on both sides like little moons and then Kind of mess that up. I think I'll make mine a little thicker, just so it. And if you um, want, you could. If it's a girl unicorn, you could give them or her lashes. So there's your lashes on your unicorn. And let's not forget our unicorn's horn. So in the top middle of the hair that's in the front, we're gonna put a little glue and then you're gonna stick on your unicorn horn. And straighten up your ears if they went to the side like mine did. And there you go. You got two little unicorns. Okay? And he or she has long hair that is coming over her eyes and she doesn't. But you have a little unicorn. Yay! All right. So we've made our unicorns. They are adorable unicorns. I hope you guys enjoyed making the unicorn. I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you for hanging out with me. Unicorns rock. See you later. Bye.